special network television world premiere. The TV industry is famous for taking the current tragedy of the day and making a movie about it. These are called Movies of the Week. Duh. This next one could simply be called A Week Movie of the Week. Oh, I get it. A, a homonym joke. That's right. This flick has chosen Lyme disease as its topical topic. <laughs> now, Lyme disease has gotten a lot of press in the past year. It's what can happen when a nasty little tick bites you. The producers are hoping this movie will become next year's Brian song. Let's take a look at their flick called Tick! Exclamation point. Paul, you haven't been yourself since we took that hike yesterday. This is supposed to be our second honeymoon. What would you know about a Marky? You're nothing but a stupid little housewife. I can't stand the stink of being cooped up in this cottage. Paul, I... Oh. Hi, you must be Mrs. Heady. I'm Ann Hunter. I own these here cottages. Say, I go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a mountain lion for a high cup of java. Please come in. I could use a little company right now. I'm going for a walk. Say, if you're going to go out, can I suggest you take this... You menu? mind your own business! I'm sorry, Ann. He's really not like this. He's a kind, loving man who's ready to offer his love and support whenever needed. He's... He's changed since we went on a hike yesterday. Hmm. Ixo dua dia. Ixo what? Ixo dua dia. Ticks, woman, ticks! Ticks? But I don't... Surely a tick wouldn't... Ever hear of Lyme disease? No. It's a disease transmitted through the bite of a tick. Tick? Lyme disease? This couldn't happen to Paul and me. I mean, we love each other too much. Ticks don't know about love, Marky. The first warning sign is surliness. Paul! Anne and Marky drag Paul down the mountain on a homemade stretcher, battling ticks all the way, and they finally get him to a hospital. Marky? Yes, Paul, yes, it's me. Here, honey, take your medicine. It's tetracycline. I don't need that. I won't be treated like a 16-year-old kid. Now, you listen to me, Paul. This ain't Epstein Bar. This ain't some designer yuppie disease someone thought up so you can lie in bed all day and not go to work. Do you think Lyme disease was on the cover of Newsweek just to sell magazines? Do you? No, of course not. I... Anne, you sound like you've had experience with this before. You're not speaking out of anger. You're speaking from the soul. That's right, Marky. I didn't want to tell you before because we'd only just met. My whole family was wiped out by ticks. My husband first and then... One by one, my kinfolk fell sick with the lime. Nobody knew about tetracycline then. Oh, sure, they knew it helped with minor infections, but... I guess it just made me hard. Made me want to fight. Just like you gotta do, Paul. Things are gonna change for you now. You're gonna have to take pills for 10 to 20 days. You might experience muscle cramps, a swollen elbow here and there. Oh, Anne, if only there were a support group we could join. We could talk to people like us. A support group? Well, I don't think a drunken rodeo clown could have said it any better. Maybe you're not just a stupid little housewife after all. Thank you. Anne, why don't you come live with Paul and I? You're all alone in the world. I'm not alone, Marky. I'm a woods woman. As long as there are ticks in those woods, I got a job to do. Goodbye, young people. Goodbye, Anne. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Goodbye Anne.